Welcome back. In this practice, we continue using triangle sum properties to find the values of x and y. Let's look at the first practice. We get two red arrows. These two red arrows tells us, tell us, this green side and this green side, they will be parallel. All right. Remember, it is said if two lines are parallel and cut by a transversal. I'm gonna use this as my transversal. Then what happened? Then alternate interior angles are congruent. All right. That means we can immediately find what is y. Y and this 30 degree angle, they are congruent. So y is 30. Okay, I'm gonna erase this circle so you can see better. Let's check the next information. We get a right angle here. If we get a right angle, this is 90 degree, which means this is also 90 degree. Why? Because these two angles are straight angles. They're, they're linear. Okay. Linear. And also one is 90. The other definitely is 90. Which makes this little triangle become a right triangle. Remember early we talk about if you are right triangle, then these two acute angles, they're always complementary. We just find out y is 30. So x plus 30 is 90. x is 60. That's it. Okay, let's look at the next practice. Next practice, we have two triangles. Did you say a right angle symbol? That's right. Okay, it's right here. We're going to use it again. In any right triangle, the two acute angles are always complementary. Therefore, I can immediately find what is y. Two acute angles in a right triangle is always complementary. Complementary means I add you two, I get 90. So one is 39, the other one is y. What is y? y is 51 degrees. All right. Now that we know y is 51 degrees, I'm going to color this portion. Actually, let me use some, this right. I'm going to color this. Did you see this angle is actually the exterior angle of this two non-adjacent interior angle? So this exterior angle is uh, 50 plus 51. Okay? All right equals the sum of the two non-adjacent interior angle. That is x plus 56. Go ahead and pause this video really quick. Solve for x. I have x is 45. Now, we just finish finding the value of x and y. That's it. Happy learning.